Tune in to PrisonPlanet.tv for an extended broadcast. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. Guns.com is reporting that an 18-year-old Maryland student has gotten into trouble for leaving an unloaded shotgun in his car. The article says that a person was checking for parking stickers and noticed the gun covered in clothing in the back seat of the young man's car. The student was pulled out of class and arrested in the principal's presence. The student claims that he had gone hunting the night before and forgot that he had the gun in his car but made attempts to cover it up. Unprescribed ADHD medication was also found in the student's vehicle. The report says that authorities found no ill intent on the student's behalf, but he could still be expelled if the school says so. Yes, he was on school grounds with a weapon. You know, they have the zero tolerance, these gun-free zones, uh, many schools are. But he made a reasonable attempt to cover up the gun. You know, people who actually own firearms know that you may occasionally find yourself in a situation where you're not supposed to have your gun and you have it on you anyway. So I feel for the guy. I definitely don't want this to be a, a scourge. And if you're one of these people who says, you know, this can never happen to me or, you know, he deserves whatever he gets, take a look at this guy. He is a, well, I guess you can't call him an anti-gun advocate, but he is a gun control advocate. Uh, he went into school with a gun on his person. So even people who are for stricter gun laws occasionally uh, find themselves in a situation where they have a gun on them. And if you're one of these people who are absolute hate guns, hate uh, anybody bringing a gun on campus, you say both these guys, whether it's the young student or the older gun control advocate, if you say both these guys deserve whatever they get, remember all the stories we've done recently, and I definitely stress recently about children being expelled from school, uh, encountering police on different levels, because they ate their Pop-Tarts the wrong way or because they bought in, they brought in a, a bubble gun to school or they made a gun with their fingers or a bow and arrow with their fingers or drew a picture of a gun. I think there's definitely something wrong with this gun control agenda. You can find more reports at Infowars.com. And what we need to do is change the way in which people think about guns, especially young people. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way.